I grew up in a Methodist church. When I was married the first time, I went to a Luther, uh, Baptist church. And when I was married the second time, I was attending a Lutheran church when the Lord started talking to me on Sunday mornings and put it in my heart to want to know what the truth was. Well, in these denominations, I was taught that if you just ask Jesus to forgive you of your sins, you know, he was faithful to do it. Well, when I left the Lutheran church, I went to, uh, God sent me to Pastor John, who was an anointed man of God to teach the Bible. And Pastor John taught it, if you wanted your sins to be forgiven, that you had received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, and uh, that's when your sins were forgiven, and that you had to repent. And the repentance was that you had to stop sinning. Well, from 1 John, we, we, we know that all sin comes from lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and pride of life. And the Lord, there were things that God required me to stop doing right then, and there were things I had to go back in my past to make right. Well, the hardest thing for me to do was to go back and pay money to a man I'd stolen from that was a friend of the family from about 25 years before. And I finally got to the point where I wanted the Holy Ghost worse than that pride that was in my heart. So uh, I got the money together and I went to see this man. And when I went in and told him what the Lord was doing in my life and, uh, and how he, he was changing my heart, and that I had stolen money from him and I brought the money back with restitution to make things right. It touched the man so much that he got up from his office desk and came around crying and hugged me and praising the, was praising the Lord and it was a blessing to me and him both. Well, at that point, I had relief from what I had done 25 years ago, but I still didn't have the Holy Ghost. And I remember sitting in the meetings, watching everybody else and the Spirit fall on them, and I felt like I was on the outside, like I was peeping through a little window like this right here. And I remember praying and talking to the Lord, saying, Lord, I said, I'm tired of being on the outside. I want to have what they have. I want to feel the Spirit. I want to speak in tongues. I want to praise you like they're praising you. And the Lord heard that prayer because on November the 10th, 1998, I was riding home down Interstate 85, and the Spirit of God fell on me, and I started speaking in tongues. And this is when I received Jesus' baptism of the Holy Spirit. This is when I was baptized into the body of Christ that Jesus is coming back after. And if you'd like to read the details of what the Lord told me uh, when he was talking to me, you can read this at pastorjohnshouse.com on the internet.